Greetings yoga friends and welcome to this practice for the psoas. We have lots of lunges in this sequence, lots of forward folds, and quite a few vinyasas. So please listen to your body and do what's right for you. Let's grab a water and go do some yoga. We'll start in a comfortable seat. Just bring yourself to the seated position of your choice. Maybe coming to Sukhasana or maybe sitting in hero's pose. And just begin to settle in with your breath. Feeling your belly expand and contract. Taking this moment to just slow down and drop into yourself. And as you're exhaling, allowing your shoulders to drop away from your ears, maybe allowing your elbows to become heavy and sink down towards the mat. Smoothing out the breath. Maybe beginning to make your inhale and exhale the same length. Perhaps counting to three as you inhale and pausing and then exhaling to a count of three. Doing that a couple of times, keeping your own count. And now beginning to introduce a little movement into that smooth breath. We'll begin to allow the shoulders to rise up towards the ears as we inhale. And then drip down the back as we exhale. Inhaling the shoulders up. Exhaling the shoulders down and back. Inhaling shoulders up. Exhaling down and back. Maybe you'd like to continue this forward movement, or perhaps you like to inhale the shoulders back and up. Exhale them forward. So finding what feels best in your body here. Some people prefer one movement and some people prefer another. Just continuing to move. And then after one more cycle of breath, allowing the shoulders to come to stillness. We'll switch around now into tabletop. Stacking our joints, finding that nice wide base in the fingers. And then dropping the belly, rolling the tailbone up towards the ceiling as we inhale, exhale, pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Coming through this with your own breathing, allowing the belly to soften and drop as you inhale. Allowing the tailbone to scoop under as you exhale. And always remembering to be gentle with the cervical spine, those little bones in the neck, just allow them to naturally follow the spine. And 
And then we'll bring that to stillness and a tabletop. We'll allow the big toes to touch, opening the knees wide, shifting the palms a couple of inches forward, and then allowing the hips to sink back, coming into child's pose. Maybe wiggling in a little bit here, feeling that opposing movement, the hips moving back towards the heels, the fingertips reaching out. Filling the belly with breath. Maybe beginning that ujjayi breath, that breath you can hear in the back of your throat. And then we'll inhale up from here, riding that breath up like a wave, rolling the toes under. We'll shift the hips up, coming into downward facing dog. Really pressing out of the shoulders here, rolling the tailbone up towards the ceiling, bending the knees deeply if you need to, and pedaling out through the feet. Remembering you can move nice and slow here. No need to rush, no place to be. Allowing the head to relax, pressing into all four corners of the hands. And then we'll inhale up to the toes. Exhale to let, allow the heels to float down towards the mat. And then we're just going to allow the left leg to come forward in between the hands, dropping the right knee to the mat, and then taking one hand and then the other over the bent knee, exhaling to sink forward into this modified low lunge. We'll keep that left hand planted on the knee as we inhale the right arm up. Inhaling to reach up through the fingertips and exhaling to reach up and over, creating space and distance between the top of the pelvis and the bottom of the rib cage. Bringing that right arm down. We'll allow both hands to find the mat here as we sink the hips back into a modified half split. Rolling back forward through the feet. We'll plant both hands coming back up on the toe and then shifting back into our downward dog. And if you'd like to pedal out a little through the feet here, again, do what feels good for you. And then we'll allow this right leg to come forward. Left knee finds the mat, top of the foot also comes to the mat, and then taking one hand and then the other on top of the right knee, we'll sink the left hip forward. Keeping the right knee planted on the top of the right thigh, we'll sweep the left arm up, inhaling to grow long and exhaling as we reach up and over, creating that space in between the bottom of the rib cage and the top of the pelvis. Coming back to the breath. Allowing that left hand to sweep back down, bringing both hands to the mat, framing the foot, shifting the hips back, stretching back through this right foot, and then rolling back over, planting both hands, rolling up on the toe, coming back 
downward facing dog. Inhaling up to the toes here. We'll bend the knees as we roll the tailbone up towards the ceiling, really pressing actively out of the shoulders here. And then exhaling as we allow the heels to just slide back down towards the floor. Inhaling, we'll look forward, walking ourselves up to the top of the mat, coming to meet in our forward fold. You can walk your fingertips from side to side here, or maybe bend the knees, extending first to one knee and then the other. Or maybe you like to come into a rag doll just finding a modification here, an option that works for you today. Finding your breath wherever you are. And then bending both knees slightly. We'll bring both hands over the bent knees, inhaling up to stand with the flat back. Hands come to meet overhead and come down to heart center. Taking just a little bit of time here in our first standing pose today, allowing the toes to widen, pressing down through that part of the toe that's attached to the base of the foot. So really feeling connected to the mat here, rolling the shoulders onto the back, maybe allowing the hands to come down, fingertips coming down towards the mat, shoulders open wide. Gaze directly forward, feeling our connection to the earth and beginning our sun salutations. Inhaling the arms up overhead, Exhale, coming into forward fold. Inhaling up halfway. Nice, long, flat back. Exhale, back into the fold. Stepping back with the left leg. We'll exhale, looking forward as we sink the left hip down at our right lunge. Planting both hands, stepping back to plank or half plank. Rolling onto the toes if you're in full plank and pulling those elbows into the side body as you lower down slowly. Coming to rest on the belly, we'll inhale up for baby cobra, using those back muscles, gazing straight down at the floor. Exhale to release. Rolling the toes under, pressing up through plank. Exhale, downward dog. Stepping forward with the left foot. Exhaling, left lunge, right foot comes to the front. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale up to stand with a flat back. Hands come to the meet overhead. Exhaling down through heart center, coming all the way back down. Inhaling up halfway. Exhale, release. Stepping back with the right foot. Exhale, left lunge. Planting the hands, coming back to plank or half plank, and then coming through your version of chaturanga. Lowering all the way down, tops of the feet come to the floor, gaze is down on the floor. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale to release. Inhale back to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Right leg comes forward. Right lunge. Left foot comes to meet the right. Exhale. Forward fold. And inhale up to stand. Hands come to meet overhead. Coming down through heart center. And taking a moment to allow your body to integrate all of those movements. And then getting ready to come into our sun salutation B. Taking a moment to readjust if you need to. Coming back into your mountain pose. 
Inhaling here, and then we'll exhale as we sit down into chair. Belly button is pulling in. We can see our toes above our knees, and we'll exhale, pressing the air away. Inhale, arms overhead or out front. Exhale, engaging those triceps, pushing the air away. Deep inhale, exhale, pressing the air away. Two more here, inhale, you got this. Press the air away, inhale. Hands come together, coming down through heart center, tipping over into forward fold. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, stepping back into downward facing dog. Inhaling the left leg up. Exhale, left knee comes to same elbow. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, left knee comes through center. Inhaling up, high lunge. Exhale, hands sweep back. High lunge, arms extended. Inhaling up, back to high lunge. And then swiveling that heel down, we'll come into warrior two. Taking that gaze over the front fingertips. Inhaling here, deepening into that front knee. And then exhaling, swinging that arm up overhead, extending out long for extended side angle. Coming back to the breath. Inhaling back to warrior two. Exhaling here. And then dropping that back hand, inhaling up, reverse warrior. Inhaling back to warrior two. And then windmilling that arm back around, coming back to frame the foot. Stepping back into plank or half plank and coming through your vinyasa. Inhaling up to up dog if you're ready. Remembering you can always skip the vinyasa altogether, coming to downward facing dog. Three breaths. And then shifting the gaze forward. You can walk or hop or float to the top of your mat. Inhaling up halfway. Exhale to release. Inhale, hands come up overhead. Exhaling down through heart center. Inhaling to sweep the arms back overhead. Exhaling as we shift the hips back, coming into chair pose. Staying here in chair this time, or maybe coming up onto the toes. Exhaling as we press the air away. Inhale, arms overhead or out front. Exhale, press the air away. Another optional modification here is just to keep the hands at heart center. Or exhale, press the air away. Twice more, inhale deeply. Exhale. Last one, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart center, heels come down to the floor, tipping over here, coming into forward fold. Placing both hands on the floor, we'll step back into downward facing dog. Inhaling our right leg up, exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee comes through center. Pressing into the back, toes, inhaling up, high lunge. Exhale, high lunge, arms reaching back. Inhaling, arms up. Exhale, left heel finds the floor, coming into warrior two on the side. Shoulders on the back, maybe rotating the palms up and then down. 
Inhaling here and then sweeping the arm up over the ear, coming into extended side angle. Deepening into that front knee, finding a little lightness in the elbow here. Inhaling up, warrior two. Exhale, and then inhaling into our reverse warrior. Inhaling back to warrior two. And then allowing that back arm to windmill back around. Coming back to frame this right foot, stepping back into plank and coming through your vinyasa or coming straight to downward facing dog. Three breaths, downward facing dog. And then coming up on the toes, bending the knees deeply if you would like to hop to the top of the mat or stepping up, inhaling a pathway. Exhale, surrender and bow. And then sweep the arms up overhead, coming up to stand with a flat back. Hands come to heart center. Taking another moment here to breathe deeply. Inhale and receive. And then we'll allow the hands to come down in order to sweep up. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back with the left foot. We'll inhale up. Coming into a high lunge and then bringing the right hand down to the right hip. We'll take just a moment here to just tug back a little on this right hip, pulling forward through the left, reaching up long through the left fingertips. And then if you like, you can bring the elbow, left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Or if that's not in your practice, you can stay high Coming into a high twist here. And so coming into this prayer twist. Inhaling to come back to center. We'll bring both hands to the floor, allowing that left knee to find the floor. Exhaling here, and we can allow that left knee to walk back slightly, keeping the right knee over the right ankle, really getting a nice stretch down the front of that left thigh. And then on our next exhale, we'll shift those hips back, coming into a modified half split. Rolling over onto that foot. We'll come back up on the toes. And then bringing that left foot forward slightly, we'll set up for our airplane pose. So inhaling the arms up overhead, we'll deepen into that front knee. And then allowing the top of the body to shift forward, we'll open the arms out to the sides, bringing the left knee up from the floor, sorry, left foot up from the floor coming into this modification of warrior three. And then allowing those hands to find the mat or perhaps to find some blocks if you like, we'll come into standing splits. Or maybe it's more of a standing figure L and that's okay too. Allowing that left foot to come back down to the floor. We'll plant both hands here, stepping back with the right foot and then rolling over onto the right hand, opening up to a side plank. Remembering you can always bring that left foot around in front. 
to support your plank. Allowing that left arm to sweep back around, coming back into your plank pose here. And then bringing this through your vinyasa, coming into downward facing dog. Three breaths here. And then we'll bring the big toes together. We'll inhale the left leg up. Left leg comes in through center. Inhaling the arms up, coming into high lunge, left leg forward. Bringing the left hand down to the left hip, peeling that left hip back as we reach up tall through the right fingertips and then choosing your twist here, maybe bringing that right elbow to the outside of the left knee, pressing into the palms here, coming into prayer twist, or maybe keeping your twist high. If you found your prayer twist here, really engaging those hands together, dialing the center of the chest, towards the hands. Inhaling to come to center. We'll drop both hands around that front foot, coming to the top of the right knee, maybe walking that knee back slightly, but keeping the stacking of the knee over the ankle and lowering forward into this low lunge. Pressing into the top of that big toe mound in the back. Nice big inhale here. And then as we're exhaling, drawing that hip back, coming into this modified half split. Rolling over onto that foot, coming back up onto the toes. Inhaling, arms up. Coming into high lunge and getting ready to go into our airplane pose. Exhaling as we come forward, pressing up onto that left foot, lifting the right foot from the floor, arms out to the sides or maybe at heart center. And then when you've had enough of this pose, allowing those fingers to find the floor Coming into standing splits. And then allowing that right foot to find the floor, planting both hands, stepping the left leg back, coming to plank, and then opening up to side plank on the side, stacking that right foot around in front if you need to for support. Arm windmills back around, coming back to plank or perhaps to half plank. Maybe you take a vinyasa here, or maybe you come to downward dog, or you come to child's pose, finding what works best. If you'd like to do a little play with crow here today, we're going to walk the feet towards the center of the mat, allowing them to come wide out to the edges of the mat, walking the fingertips back slightly, and we'll come from here into malasana or garland pose. So inhaling, and then as we're exhaling, allowing the hips to shift down. If this is where you'd like to stay for tonight, that is fine. Bringing those elbows to the insides of the knees, really pressing the elbows into the knees and knees into the elbows. Remembering you can always use the block or a book to support yourself in this pose. Sensation is more important here than shape. 
And if you'd like to do a little play with crow pose tonight, you can roll forward slightly, planting both hands on the floor, and then pressing into all four corners of the palms here. We'll lift the hips up off the floor. We're gonna make little shelves with the arms here as we bring the knees as close to the armpits as we can, rolling over onto the, the hands. And maybe you lift one foot, or maybe you lift another, or maybe you don't lift anything today. And that's completely fine. Pressing into the hands. And then when you're ready, rolling back into garland pose. Hands come back to heart center. Bringing the hands back down to the mat. We'll allow the hips to shift up toward the ceiling. Maybe taking those hands underneath the feet, coming into gorilla or hasta, parangustasana. Hands under feet pose. And then allowing those hands to walk back out to the top of the mat. We'll allow the feet to shift back. Toes come to touch. Hips shift back. Coming back for a short rest here in child's pose. And then allowing our breath to carry us up like a wave, turning the toes under in the back, shifting the hips back up into downward facing dog. We'll bring the big toes to touch as we inhale the left leg up. Left knee comes to left elbow. Inhale the left leg up. Exhale, left knee comes through center. We'll plant the right knee on the mat here as we inhale the left arm open, coming into a low lunge twist. Allowing that left hand to come back towards the mat. We'll step the right foot forward, pressing into the right heel, inhaling the arms up, coming into warrior one. And then opening the arms up, coming into warrior two, taking a gaze softly over those front fingertips, peeling this left knee back, and then windmilling that arm around, coming back to frame the left leg. Knee finds the floor, exhaling, coming back into our Modified half split, rolling forward on the toe, inhaling back up, exhaling, right foot comes to meet left foot, forward fold. Inhale up halfway, find that nice length in the spine, exhale, forward fold. Inhaling up, we'll let the hips shift back. Coming back into chair pose, bringing the hands to heart center and allowing ourselves to rise. Any nice extension in the spine here. We're gonna bring the weight into the right foot as we lift the left heel towards the left glute, reaching back and taking hold of the top of the left foot with the left hand. You can reach that right arm up long overhead if you like, bringing the left knee parallel to the right. And maybe you like to shift your grip here so that the left hand palm is facing outward. Back of the hand is towards the midline. 
And maybe you like to stay here tonight or maybe you like to play a little with dancer, pressing the left leg into the left hand. Sinking forward, finding your focal point, smiling, and then bringing yourself back up, hopefully with a little bit more grace than that, bringing that left leg back around to center, and then left knee comes down, left sole of the foot finds the floor. We'll wiggle through the legs just a little here, wiggle asana, it's my favorite move. And then inhaling the arms up overhead. We'll exhale, moving back to forward fold. And then stepping back into downward facing dog. Finding our three breaths. And we're allowing the big toes to touch. We'll inhale the right leg up this time. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale, right leg comes up. Exhale, right leg comes through center. <clears throat> Planting that left hand on the ground now. We'll inhale the arm open, coming into a twist on the side. Allowing that right arm to come down. We'll step the, step the left leg forward slightly, turning it out just a bit. Left heel interacts with the mat here. Inhaling up, warrior one. Deepening into that front knee. Front knee aligned over the ankle. And then opening up, warrior two. Allowing that backhand to windmill back over, framing the front foot, dropping that back knee, shifting the hips back, modified uh, splits, modified splits on this side. Rolling forward, coming back up onto the knee, we'll bring the back foot to the front, forward fold. Inhaling up halfway, nice tailbone to spine, to crown of the head connection, and then coming back down over the legs. Inhaling, arms come overhead, hips shift back, coming to chair pose. Hands come to heart center as we allow ourselves to rise. And this time, bringing our weight into our left foot, bringing the right heel towards the right glute. Maybe allowing the left arm to shift up overhead, dropping that right hip, bringing the knees parallel to each other. And if you like, Switching the grip of the hand. And playing a little with dancer. Not a Rajana. Not taking ourselves too seriously here. It's just yoga. And then allowing yourself to rise, bringing that right knee up in front, coming back to neutral. And bringing that foot back down to the floor, wiggling out through the legs. And then taking our last vinyasa today, just to get ourselves back down to the floor, Inhaling the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling up halfway. 
Exhale, planting both hands, stepping back to plank or half plank. Coming through Chaturanga, or coming directly to downward facing dog. And then once you've found your down dog, allowing your knees to find the floor, maybe shifting your feet to one side or crossing the ankles, rolling back, coming back into a seated position at the back of your mat. Legs are long. And maybe you press your palms into the floor. Maybe your arms are a little short like mine. So maybe you press your fists into the floor, coming into your Dandasana, staff pose. And if you have a strap today and you like to throw that over the balls of your feet, you can do that. Or as an alternative, you can bend the knees generously sweeping the arms up overhead and exhaling to lower forward, lowering the belly onto the tops of the thighs, allowing the hands to fall wherever they will. And then from here, begin to walk the heels out from the body slowly, but only so far as you can keep the belly laying on the thighs. Neck is soft, shoulders are on the back. Breathing deeply. Releasing the feet or the shins, walking the fingers back towards the body. And then we'll shift the hips forward, coming down to our backs rolling out through the lower back. Mm, that feels good. <laughs> and we'll allow the soles of the feet to find the floor here, pulling the heels in towards the tail. Hands come down next to the hips. Maybe you can brush your heels with your fingertips. Maybe not, that's okay. Taking the hands next to the hips here, We'll inhale as we press the hips up towards the sky, allowing the chin to also point up towards the sky to create some space for the breath. Chin is coming to the sky, chest is coming to the chin. Legs are energetically moving towards one another. And then as we exhale, we'll slowly lower down one vertebra at a time, allowing that lower back to find the floor. Setting up to take our bridge pose once more. Deeply exhaling all the air out from the lungs. And then inhaling as we shift the hips up towards the ceiling maybe walking the shoulder blades up underneath the back and interlacing the fingers this time, or perhaps not. Pressing into all four corners of the feet, engaging the glutes, pulling the thighs in towards each other. Deep breath. Welcoming that little shake and tremble. And then bringing the shoulder blades out from under the back, releasing the fingers and allowing the back to gently sink back down towards the mat. Bringing the knees into the chest, rolling out through the lower back. And now allowing both feet to find the floor, we'll bring the top of, or the outside of the left foot, sorry, to the top of the right thigh. And then as we're exhaling, we'll bring that right foot up from the floor, maybe interlacing the fingers behind the right leg. And if you like, you can hold on behind the right leg here and gently press away 
on the left knee. Getting that external rotation of the hip. Allowing that right sole of the foot to release down towards the floor. We'll allow this left leg to continue its journey over the right, stacking the knees, inhaling the arms open wide, and then allowing that left leg to draw the right leg over as we take our gaze over the right shoulder. Inhaling the knees back up. Oh, now the, bleh, allow the knees to unwind, pulling the knees into the chest. And then allowing the soles of the feet to find the floor. This time taking that right outside of the foot to the top of the left thigh. Inhaling here. And then as we're exhaling, bringing that left leg up from the floor, interlacing the fingers behind the left thigh, if you like. Remembering all of these are choices. Don't have to take certain shapes at all. Don't have to interlace your hands. They're just invitations. And if you'd like to hold on to the back of that left thigh with the left hand and press the right knee away with the right hand, you can try that now. Keeping the shoulders and the neck long and relaxed on the mat. And now the left sole of the foot finds the floor. The right knee continues to travel over, inhaling the arms open wide. We allow the right leg to drag the left leg over towards the floor as we shift the gaze over the left shoulder. And inhaling the knees back up. We'll bring the knees back into the chest, rolling out through the lower back one last time. Maybe you like to allow the nose to rise up towards the knees. And then allowing that to release, we'll let the knees open as we grasp the toes, big toes or the outsides of the feet coming into happy baby. Maybe you find some movement here. Maybe you get the elbows to the insides of the knees, or maybe you don't. Either way is fine. And then bringing that to stillness, we'll bring the soles of the feet to touch, extending the legs out long on the mat as we come into our Shavasana. Taking a nice deep breath and letting it out with a sigh, allowing everything to become heavy. Bringing our attention to the toes and allowing any remaining tension to drain from the toes, drain from the feet. Imagining that any place that our body touches the floor is a place that can release any remaining tension we're carrying. Lower legs relax away from each other. Thigh muscles soften. Belly becomes soft. 
Lower back becomes heavy. Collarbones open. Shoulders melt into the floor. Hands and fingers relax. Maybe you can feel that little tingle in the palm of your hands. Tension is released from the neck. Even the ears relax down towards the floor. Little muscles around the eyes and mouth releasing. The muscles of the scalp becoming soft and allowing your mind to relax. Begin to call yourself back, perhaps taking a deep breath or wiggling your fingers and toes, stretching your arms out overhead, and then rolling to one side, just allowing yourself to rest there for a moment. And then when you're ready, you can press yourself back up to a seated position, keeping your eyes closed or your gaze lowered, bringing your hands to heart center. And the reading I brought to share with you is an excerpt from Exercise for the Evening by Jean-Paul de Dadelson. Stop. Instead of panting and gasping from second to second, like a torrent hurtling from rock to rock with no special merit, breathe more slowly without moving, ankles crossed, hands clasped. Observe as if it were the whole world at once, an object. Here is the entrance not to wisdom, nor to silence, nor to perfect control of yourself and your shadow, but to a first cavity smooth enough to hold a handful of peace. Now you can sleep, your feet together so as not to cut the current, hands clasped, how you can rise. Now above your pacified body, above your box of balderdash, in the smooth fluid of your outstretched body, you can keep watch. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me tonight. I'm grateful for you every time you come, and I hope that your yoga follows you off the mat. <laughs>